your board. But it's like this one. I shouldn't have had a dance party before filming because I'm sweating. So anyway, my style is kind of funky and I usually gravitate towards prints and like colors that would be considered more summery colors because people are more open to wearing bright colors during the summer usually. But I have colors in my wardrobe year round. And so I swear every time I go shopping, I will come out with like a giant cheetah hot pink lime green sweater and I never end up gravitating or getting a neutral piece of clothing like just black pants. I've been missing black pants from my wardrobe forever. I just got some black pants. All of those neutral things that you need in your closet in order to like complete outfits that make sense. I didn't have any of those, so I guess the cloudy days gave me some time to go and get some of those pieces. So now I think I've completed more cohesive outfits in my wardrobe because I had too many statement pieces that weren't mixing together. So now I have some good outfits to show you guys. Surprise! The outfit I was already wearing is the first outfit. I love the pop of yellow on the cardigan. I usually match my jewelry to this. The outer jacket is like, yes, I'm still a Texas cowgirl, but I live in New York. These Puma jeans are my favorite pair of jeans. They squeeze me, but they're still comfy, and I thrifted them from my favorite thrift store, L Train. Actually, this whole monochromy look is thrifted. <gasps> I know, because thrifting is environmentally sustainable. These Harley Davidson boots are one of my most proud thrifts, and I'm also just obsessed with the way the jean lands like in the middle of the boot. This is the first of many unslick transitions, I apologize. This outfit is also fully thrifted except for the shoes. The chunky sweater is easy to pair with a long sleeve and leggings so that this outfit can be perfect for doing homework at a coffee shop or just looking cute on Zoom. Like yes, I have 10 pages to write and I'm a college student with responsibilities, but that doesn't mean I'm not cute. I have personality. I definitely recommend Franco Sarto loafers. These have lasted me almost four years. Next, I just switched out the cardigan for a bright pink one, also thrifted. I was so confused when I bought it. I was like, what kind of fruit is that? It's a pomegranate. Layering tight long sleeves under summery dresses is the move for fall. This dress just makes me feel like a subtle baddie so just give me a second to just um <laughs> excuse me yes i'm not completely sure on my views on that subject but i will get back to you soon this suede purse is so cute to put my phone and absolutely nothing else inside. I also thrifted this. That's gonna get really annoying. Layering socks under summery shoes is also the move. I got these block heels at Century 21. <laughs> by studying New York women that layering an oversized sweater on a flowy dress can look super cool. We're gonna put on a little clippy thing in our hair because we're just trendy like that. Mine usually comes out bad because I don't know how to handle my long hair, but I honestly rock the Phoebe Buffet vibes. I do. Um, okay, just go off then. This look can also be achieved with a cropped sweater, but as you can see, don't try to tie a giant sweater up the way I just did. This outfit is super simple, but I just wanted to show off my red thrifted trash pants. No, they're not trash. I think they're just called trash pants. Or maybe they're called track pants. Let me know because I'm really not sure. Once again, I love where the pants cuff on these Air Force Ones. I 
I used the polka dot belt from the other dress on this old lady cheetah aesthetic dress to define my waist. I recommend checking out your mom's closet because that's where I copped this fitted leather jacket. I actually found Polly pocket shoes from when I was little when I reached into one of the pockets. Y'all, these are vintage Michael Kors loafer heels that I thrifted. I feel like Rachel Green and my dream has come true. Now I'm using my mom's leather jacket to style a completely different outfit. The purple turtleneck is from Uniqlo and the pants are from Mango. My Harley Davidson combat boots have made a comeback once again and they're looking super moody. To change up the outfit, I styled it with this vintage Ralph Lauren, or as some may say, Lauren, motorcycle looking jacket. I like the hidden zipper and the cuff details. I thrifted this from a Buffalo exchange in Manhattan. This 60s suit jacket is one of my favorites, even though I don't iron it like I should. I'm a college student, so you can't blame me. A printed piece like this can elevate a simple outfit like a t-shirt and jeans. It can also cover up the fact that your jeans don't fit you anymore because you ate too much in quarantine like me. I love these Steve Madden boots for the chunky platform because they make me feel like I'm 5'3 or something tall like that. On to my favorite outfit of this lookbook. Because of the different textures and the silhouette, this feels like a lot of eras at once. I was on the hunt for some kind of vest at Urban Jungle in Brooklyn, and I was so happy when I found this one because it keeps me warm, and I love the fit of it as well. We love a booty detail on khaki pants. This low-key makes me think of the cargo shorts that I'd wear with my Hannah Montana scarf in the fourth grade. <laughs> Wearing a low pony made me feel more 70s in this outfit, so I decided to test out and see if I can dance in these pants. That kinda rhymed. These shoes are from Dirty Laundry and they're so comfortable to walk around in New York. Socks and sandals are definitely allowed in this situation because I need to keep my toes warm and they're looking cute at the same time. This is the kind of girl you see at the grocery store that gets unsweetened almond milk and reads the labels on everything she's buying because she is an intellectual. She knows what she wants and she knows where she's going. I thrifted this cardigan at Goodwill on 5th Avenue and it's guys it's it's alexander wang when i saw the tag i immediately went to the register and it was literally eight dollars i knew it was good when i saw the scandy slit in the back i knew it was good I got this beautiful oversized leather jacket at Urban Jungle in Brooklyn where I got the other brown vest too. I'm obsessed with the worn out parts that look brown and the big buttons. Under it I have a silky tank with a long skirt that matches so it kind of passes as a dress. This could easily be layered with a long sleeve under which I should have done because it gets cold here even in the fall. My black boots are from Nasty Gal. I think it's always a statement to wear socks that match your outfit and have them stick out of your boots just a little bit. Mm, okay, that transition was so bad. It's kind of embarrassing at this point. You can see the exhaustion in my face. Anyway, this is my hot schoolgirl outfit, which I think everybody needs in their closet no matter the season. I honestly feel like a baddie wearing a long jacket with a short dress and I didn't have sheer black leggings but that would definitely complete this outfit. This jean dress is so 90s with the plaid detail and I love how it accentuates my body. Okay, don't mind me being your hot elementary school teacher. That sounded a little weird but whatever, ignore. You can hardly go wrong adding a white button down under dresses and sweaters. <clears throat> Not only am I a hot school girl, but I'm also a super hot school boy. 
I got this Levi's long sleeve at Century 21 and thrifted these Wrangler jeans. I cuffed my jeans like I'm an NYU student who lives in downtown Brooklyn and only talks to people who also cuff their jeans. Apparently, I'd also win at any dance battle in the playground. Subscribe to support me and my channel. I hope this inspires you to dance around in your fall outfits and live your best life.